I'm talking today to Shyam Roy, who is the CEO of MTEL, which is the second mobile operator in Mauritius. Shyam, what's the state of the mobile market in Mauritius at the moment? All right, uh, today in Mauritius we are around 85% penetration uh, for mobile, and we at MTEL we are around 43% market share. And the third operator is around 1% or so. And the third operator is MNTL, that has just gone from being a CDMA operator to being a GSM operator, it hopes. Yes. To, right now they're CDMA and they're trying to move to GSM. Uh, we think that's going to happen sometime mid this year. And what impact do you think that will have on the market share of all the different players? Well, that will bring us to number one. Hopefully, I suppose they will try and play some price wars and whatever, but it will all depend on the quality of service they will offer. So uh, we have no problem. We are, uh, we are we are making sure that our services, our pricing, and all that matches what the customer wants. So basically, we'll just wait and see what happens when they're here. And you've currently got um, 250 cell sites, which is pretty much 100% coverage, is that right? For a small island, yes, it's a lot for a small island. And we're actually improving because we need to reach uh, with data services, indoors has to be well covered, and all the, because we're having lots of buildings coming up, so everywhere has to be 100% covered eventually. And data is now 25% of your revenues, and I noticed that you have a MiFi device, which is about the size of a matchbox. Tell me about how that works. Okay, that's an incredible piece of equipment, which is an evolution of what we had uh, in the past, starting from the PCMCIA slot uh, card to the dongles, which took us to run to, to Mac. And this one is a very small gadget, which is a wireless router, which can take you up to 7.2 meg. And uh, it's, it can allow you to have five people sharing on the wireless router. And it's portable, you can carry it everywhere. It's not very expensive, so it's, it's the next uh, step so to... What is not very expensive? Well, people who need information, nothing is expensive. They, they can but in, in rupees rather than um, okay, conceptually? This, the price is around 4,900 rupees, which includes a first month package. Okay. And it's both voice and data? It's both voice. Yeah. The voice, of course, you can't share. Only one person can talk. Yeah. The data you can share. Okay. And... I understand that you're doing, you have got a payment gateway as well. Tell us about how that is going. Okay, that is actually a third party gateway. And for the moment, it's only to allow Intel customers to pay their bills. We're going to extend that to third party um, payments as well. Okay, so to other merchants like utility companies yes. and so on and so forth. Other utilities and eventually to Pizza Hertz and whatever. Okay. Third parties. And the last time I was here in 2008, we were talking about the possibility of there being another international fiber cable besides SAFE. What's happened to the international fiber cable discussion? Well, there has been lots of discussions on this with various parties, including the other operators in the region, because all of them have got the same need. Um, we also had SECOM as one party and the discussions between SICOM and government is still ongoing. But we uh, have already sort of selected a partner. We are part of a consortium now, which is having a cable coming to Mauritius uh, towards the end of this year. That's so the, li the Lion cable? That's the Lion. Okay. And what has happened to um, prices at a wholesale level? Well, it's going down very slowly and I suppose the more, uh, when this new cable will come, there will be an accelerated price decrease. So far it's been 
more under government pressure. We had lately a 20% 20, 20 decrease, so I think this will move faster eventually. That was okay, but you're, down, you're still in the low, um, just slightly above $1,000 per meg, aren't you? We are, yeah. We are more than that, yeah. Yeah, and in East Africa, it's down in the hundreds. Yes. So when do you think it will come down to the hundreds? I think uh, within the next two years it should. Okay, so that's... Our, that's our motto is uh, to have 20, 20 times the speed, 10 times lower price. And when do you think you'll get there? Within the next two years. We within should. the next two years as well, okay. And you were saying you have an ambition to do a fixed line service, because at the moment you're primarily a mobile operator. Um, what's the, what's the um, business logic, the business strategy behind that? Well, today we are a mobile company, we have international services, we are going very far in data. The only range, the only service that is not within our package is the fix. So if we want to be there to be able to provide services to the homes as well. And that's the reason, that's the main reason we would like to have that. And to be able to match your, com your primary competitors' offers? Yes, to be able to have all the packages they have so that we can be extremely competitive on the market. Shyam, thanks for talking to me. Thank you very much.